Welcome to the office where our door is always open. I am your host, Goretti Paul of HRWISE. To our viewers who have been with us from the inception, I want to say thank you so much for following the show. And to our new viewers, a very warm welcome to you. And I hope that you will be with us for many more episodes to come. We are actually starting season four today, so I'm really happy to have reached this milestone. And I hope that we will continue to get your support so we can have um, many more seasons of information that we could share with you guys as it relates to HR and office management in general. Today we will be discussing our EDGE Youth Development Program because we recently concluded our 2019 workshop. Um, and I am joined by Miss Betty Combi, who was one of our presenters this year. So we will be hearing from her about her experience um, being a part of the EDGE program. Um, and hopefully, you know, more persons will find out all the good work that we're doing um, as part of that program. Before I invite Betty on, I think I need to just give a little background for persons who are not familiar with the program. Our EDGE Youth Development Program, it was uh, a youth development program designed to really address certain gaps that we had seen among our young persons joining the workforce. We felt that they were not quite ready. And so as HR professionals, we thought, you know, let us use the knowledge and skills that we have as it relates to what the expectations are in the workplace and develop a program that is going to support our young persons and help them transition from the school environment into um, the working environment. Over um, the period while we were designing the program, we made various changes because we really wanted it to be a program that was impactful and that really you know, made, made a, an impact on um, the young persons who actually attended. During the program, we cover various topics such as customer service, conflict management, um, mental health and wellness, physical health, workplace requirements, the code of ethics, um, you know, just everything we, f we feel um, is important to set a solid foundation for our young persons as they enter the workplace. And this is um, delivered over three weeks during the summer, but this is just the first aspect of the program. We have the second aspect, which is the, in the internships, where we, we invite other companies to join us and host our mentees so that they can put into practice what you know the new knowledge and the skills that they've developed um, over the, the three weeks of the program. So the second part is the internship program, the internship component, where we invite companies to um, come on board and host our mentees for a short internship period. Ideally, we would love for it to be three months, but um, some companies have indicated that they may not be able to do as much as that. So we're still open to whatever period that, you know, they can accommodate our mentees. So this is just in a nutshell a little bit about the EDGE program, and I'm sure you will learn more about it as we go through the conversation. But I would like to now welcome Betty again. This is not your first time here at the office. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome and thank you so much for agreeing to be here today. Pleasure is mine. All right. So Betty, this year you um, served as one of our presenters. Uh, we, you were speaking to the mentees on service excellence. That's right. Um, one of the areas that you're very passionate about. So they continue to speak about your presentation. And, you know, which obviously, I think anybody who interacts with you knows that it must have been fun and high energy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they enjoyed it very much. Yeah. So I just wanted to get a feel from you as, you know, a, a new mentor coming in to support the program. How was the experience? Um, well, you. I think one of the things I tell you, Goretti, is you have me on for every year. <laughs> so I think this is indicative of what I thought of the program. Mm. Um, I think this is just invaluable, what you're doing. Um, I came in the third day of the first week. And so I remember we were talking it before. Mm -hmm. And you were concerned that they were not engaging enough, that they were not sharing enough. Mm -hmm. um, and when I went in, I did notice that. But towards the end, we, they really started talking. Mm -hmm. Um, so for me, what was amazing was the closing ceremony. 
that the concern we had initially in the first week, and then when it came to the closing ceremony, and I saw those students <laughs> coordinate a closing ceremony, yeah. and every single participant participated in that closing ceremony, mm. either doing something or saying something. Mm. You know, they tell you that one of the greatest phobias or most common phobias is stage fright, yeah. not with these young people. Yeah. And so I was just amazed at that change that had occurred in three weeks yeah. from when I met them in the first week and then I saw that confidence in the third week. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you. You know, we focus so heavily on getting them to build the self-confidence because we realize that's an area of concern, mm -hmm. you know, so it's working. Throughout, it works. throughout the program, you know, that's something that we try to instill and drive in all of the activities we give them to do the group um, work and everything. Well done. You know, so well done. I'm happy with the end product. I mean, like you, I was very pleased with, with the closing ceremony because mm -hmm. we make it all about them. So they literally have to put together the entire closing ceremony. We say to them that this is your opportunity to demonstrate to your parents, to yes. the sponsors who have invested in this program. Mm -hmm. You know, demonstrate to them what you've learned and how it has impacted your life. And it's only three weeks and obviously we, can, we cannot correct everything that, you know, is wrong. But I think we make a big enough impact in that short space of time. You know, I think from the testimony that some of them gave is indicative that you were able to do that. Yeah. And we also heard from some of the parents during that ceremony. Yeah. And the parents talked about the changes they observed. Yeah. And in our um, next episode, we will actually have one of our parents who is beautiful. going to share with us his experience and his observations, you oh, know, great. based great. On, on the program. Yes, yes. So, Betty, we do have to take our first break. When we come back, we will continue okay. the conversation about your experience. So, if you will stay with us, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Office is brought to you by Renwick & Company Limited, multi-graphics powered by Expert Group and the Goddard Catering Group. Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Today we are discussing our Edge Youth Development Program, which is hosted by HR Wise, of course, and I am joined by Ms. Betty Combi, who was one of our presenters for this year's program. So Betty, you were sharing with us um, the fact that you were so happy to see the, the closing ceremony and the fact that our mentees were able to pull that off, and in very short time too, actually. <laughs> so I wanted to get from you, um, coming out of the experience, the time that you spent with the mentees doing the presentation, as well as your interaction with them on that last day, what would you say was your biggest takeaway? Um, I think what it did for me was, like I said, it was the confidence builder. I think that's what it did. Um, because when I entered that class on the third day of the first week, <laughs> Mm -hmm. These students were not as confident as what I saw on that podium during mm -hmm. that closing ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing was I thought to, you know, these students come in with a lot of knowledge. And I think what the program does, it sort of like synergizes, it brings it all together. And uh, I think that too helped in building the confidence. Yeah. I knew this already yeah. and there are different ways you can apply it. Yeah. And I think they just demonstrate that, yeah. what they knew already and the application of it. Yeah, I think and that was very impressive. I think in a lot of cases, I mean, we know our young people are very talented. Yes, without okay, a doubt. So and intelligent. They, and they can be so creative. Yes. But the, the challenge that I've found is that they don't see that. Yes. Or they don't appreciate that about themselves, mm -hmm. which is why in the, very, in the very first week, we spend a lot of time um, confidence the, building. Yeah, well, not even before before that, because the confidence building part is throughout the entire period. Okay. But one of the changes that I realize we have to make is we need to spend more time on the confidence building part. Mm -hmm. Um. So next year's program, we'll have to do some changes to to improve on that. Okay. Um. But what we what we've done is included a psychometric assessment as part of the first week. Okay. So Very they good. have to do the psychometric assessment to mm -hmm. you know understand a little bit about themselves understand their personality type, understand what are the motivators, what jobs are they best um, suited for based on these personality types, what are their strengths, what are, you know, the, the areas okay. of competence and so on. Um, and that we found has really helped in terms of guiding them with their career path. 
Yeah, I think we saw in the testimony of one of them yeah. when she spoke about how she came in yeah. and how she was living. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you got a sense that you were recognizing the changes that yes, they were going absolutely. through yes, as far as personality. Yeah, because so during the process, you know, they, they would share things that they, they learned about themselves. And that's what we really want. Because when we came up with EDGE, the acronym stands for Empower, Discover, Grow, Excel. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted was for them to empower them to take ownership for their lives and yeah, their future. Um, and to, to help them discover their strengths, their That's competencies, right. their skills, their talents. Their passion. Yes, and That's their passion. Right. So, you know, it puts things, it put things into a um, greater perspective for mm -hmm. them in terms mm -hmm. of what direction should I take? You know, how do I transition out of the school environment into the real world? You know, where do I start? So, you know, it really helps them, I think, and, and that really had an impact, I think. I think so too. Um, I think these, all of these candidates can talk about they grew during those three weeks. Yeah. And that's a short, a short time you know, yeah. to have achieved that. Yeah. And what is what I'm so impressed about this program. Yeah. Um, what is, I think was unfortunate was you didn't have many sponsors come on board. <laughs> Which I thought that was because, you know, I mean, over and over we hear employers complain that yeah. our school leavers are not prepared for the workforce. And there you have a program that's trying to bridge this gap. Mm -hmm. And then the level of sponsorship was so low. Yeah. So I think that's something we need to talk about and to try and yeah. encourage the corporate community to come on board. Yeah, well, maybe we need to change our approach in terms of how we spread the word around and, and you know. Yeah, well, one of the things I think know what, what is really happening mm -hmm. with the program so they can see the value that it has. Yes, and value in terms of a parent. You can get testimonies from parents. You can get testimony from those sponsors you have had from the beginning. Yeah as well as testimonies from those participants. Yeah. Very important. As well as from the presenters. Mm -hmm. I mean, I continue to be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll make a few changes for next year's program for sure, because our aim is to continually develop the, the program. Mm -hmm. What we want is for it to be something that is valuable and impactful. We don't want to do it just because. I agree. So it's our, it's our not-for-profit initiative that we've taken on, and we've done it with such passion because the intent is true. And such a low cost, too. Yeah. A low, low fee, low as far fee. as what you cost. Yeah, yeah what I are you cost asking? low yeah. fee. <laughs> low fee. Low fee, that's yeah. right. Because it costs us about $770 per child, per, mm -hmm. per mentee, mm -hmm. um, to, to run the program, if we are very thrifty. Mm -hmm. um, but we charge $150 I mean, that's for the three weeks, which is less than a pair of sneakers. $10 a day. $10, that's, that's, yeah, that's $10 right. A that's day. That's value for money, without exactly. a doubt. And they get yeah. break, they get lunch every day. They mm -hmm. literally just have to come in with an open mind. Mm -hmm. We print um, a handbook that we've designed for them that will be theirs to keep. Okay. So they have the handbook, which basically summarizes what they've covered during the three, mm -hmm. the, the three weeks. And so it's theirs that they can refer to. I was there for the closing ceremony. Did you also have an opening ceremony? No, we didn't. Okay. I mean, that's something we can consider as well. No, yeah. No. So. Well, did you see how many sponsors showed up at the closing ceremony? Very few. Well, can you imagine how yeah. many Which is unfortunate. <laughs> so, so that's why I didn't bother because yeah. they don't come, you know. Even it's unfortunate. If, we need to yeah. support our young people. Yeah. I think we, I mean, I mean, you think of, I think of it, Bugretti, whenever you talk to parents, any parents, mm. and they always say, it's short to say, my child, this child is just too smart. That child just too intelligent for me. Every parent is going to say that. Mm -hmm. And that is true. That is how intelligent and talented our children are. They are, they are. But we need to equip them. Yeah. Equip them. To and empower them. Empower too. them. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And Edge is doing that. Yeah. Right? Um, it's unfortunate that they just came from secondary school and a lot of that should have been done mm -hmm. but for some reason a lot of it is not being done so we'll take that that point i'm happy you raised that we're going to take that point after the break so don't go anywhere we'll be right back Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. We are discussing our annual youth development program, which is called EDGE. And joining me here is Ms. Betty Gomby. So Betty, before the break, you mentioned that some of these um, topics that we're covering and the skills that we're trying to impart 
on our mentees during that three weeks really should be something taught in schools. And I'm happy you raised that. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like um, we, we, we continue to be repeating the same mistakes with every year that passes. And so our children are coming out less prepared. Um, mm -hmm. what, what is, you raised the point. So tell me your, your thought process as it relates to, to that point that you raised before we close off, before I give my piece. Um, without a doubt, um, there is something happening at the schools. Mm -hmm. um, what I think is lacking, though, is uh, the synergy. You know, it's like every teacher teaching their subject almost in isolation, mm -hmm. and there is nobody coordinating things to under give students the big picture of what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what EDGE does, because EDGE is so comprehensive in nature. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're discussing, you're preparing them for interviews, great. You're talking about entrepreneurship. You're talking about service excellence. You're talking about doing work well. You're just bringing everything together in that program mm -hmm. that just better equips anybody for entering the workforce. Yeah. So I think that's what the education system is lacking, is that there's too much to focus still on knowledge and not enough focus on skills and soft skills. I mean, it was Dale Carnegie that says 85% of our success will depend on our interpersonal skills. Mm -hmm. And this is even more important now because our children are gadget people. Yeah. They're talking to you. They're not even lifting up to give you eye, eye contact. And so it's just so important that we be stressing these things over and over again mm -hmm. because of where we're at with our young people yeah. and the negative impact that the technology has had. Yeah, well, I think, you know, by now having recognized the gaps, um, you know, that exist among our young persons entering the workforce, it's time for us to now take a, a, a bigger step to, to correct and to close those gaps, right? Without a doubt. So I feel like the, the core skills are supposed to be taught from very early. So from pre-K, we, we're, we're supposed to start instilling certain skills into our young ones. So yes. conflict management is an area where we are failing miserably. It's mm -hmm. getting worse, but we have to start that from you know, as young as pre-K. But it, you'd be surprised that it's been done in some of the preschools. Yeah. But, but what happens is it's it's the continuity. Exactly, it's the consistency. And the continuation too. Exactly. So even if it started exactly. in the preschool, which is exactly. the foundation, by the way. That's right. Um, is it being, you know, consistently um, improved or, mm -hmm. or applied That's throughout right. their journey through right. school? So, you know, there's room for improvement. That's right. Now, having said that, the education system is not completely um, responsible for 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 the for the development the, the gap the, I, oh, because, um, yes. you know as, as parents, a society we, yeah we have yes. a role to play as yes. well i mean we so also it's not about have blame teach, we're yeah. not blaming anybody there it's just that the system has to be improved, improved because yeah. we're not getting the outcomes we want absolutely absolutely yes. and you know as as parents i think you know we have to drive that point home that the parents too need to play a, a bigger role in preparing the children for the real world yes you know yes i agree with that so i mean there are a number of skills that um we're seeing a declining i mean persons entering the workforce generally we see poor work ethic conflict management skills is lacking interpersonal skills like you said communication mm -hmm. skills and these mm -hmm. are all the simple core thing skills. of eye contact yeah. great it's amazing yep, yep. and you these know? are all core skills that are necessary regardless of sector industry job that's right you that's know right. these things are, are required throughout so we really do need to find a way i i don't have the answer and i don't think it is one quick fix i think we have to do a combination of things but i think we need to start closing the gap yeah. and like i said it's i mean we hate over and over what employers are complaining about mm -hmm. and here is a program that's trying to bridge that yeah and yet we're not seeing that support coming on so you have to wonder what it is people want I don't you know, know? Um, but yeah, I agree with you that it's, it's, it's different strategies that will have to come in place. But this is one strategy that we're seeing positive results from. Yeah. And I think we need to support it. I am here to support it, which is why I'm here. And I will encourage other people to yeah. support it. Well, I definitely appreciate that. So you're stuck yeah. with us for many That's years to problem. come. Um, I mean, it, it was so impactful, I think, that closing ceremony. That remember, well, I'm not sure if you, if you remember the gentleman who stood up and said, he, 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 yes. he lives out of St. Lucia. But he, he will support yeah. Yes, now you know, he just happened to be there because somebody invited him That's along right. and he committed his support That's um, right. to the program going yes. forward. So I'm really happy for any little support that we get. I, I always mm -hmm. invite individuals as well. It's not just about companies sponsoring. Mm -hmm. If everybody sponsors a child mm -hmm. 
I mean, that will go a long way. That's right. Can because be a companies lot of, come sponsoring the, ch the children of the employees. That's correct. That's, that's correct. Right. So we invite them to do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, we invite persons to sponsor from an individual perspective. So if you want to make a contribution, not necessarily a sponsorship, that's right. um, which is going to be a little um, higher, but you may want to just give a small donation. Mm -hmm. That's welcome as well. You that's know, right. Because there are a lot of people out there who see value in the program. And they support. We have one person who has supported the program from inception. Every closing ceremony, he has um, personalized gifts that, that we give to each child. Okay. He literally sits down and writes a, a note to every single child and signs it along with a gift item. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that shows that this program really means something to him and he sees the value in it, which is why yeah. he's been with us from day one. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm really hoping that more companies will come on board with us and mm -hmm. they will support the program because it is about elevating the caliber of our workforce so all all employers stand to benefit from the results of, and so of a program i mean, remember like this. this is not about just the workforce this is about children are going out there and they're starting their own businesses yes so this whole idea of putting entrepreneurship as a, a, a part of the program yeah. is also very important yeah. so it's just preparing our student children for life exactly yeah exactly. which is so important yeah trying to teach them all the life skills we feel are necessary for them to have a good successful life that's right it's, it's what it's all about mm -hmm. All right, so Betty, any suggestions on changes, improvements that we can make based on your exposure to well, the program? Um, again, it's three weeks during the summer. I would like to see maybe a different venue than a school setting. Mm -hmm. I thought we were a bit cramped in the classroom. So again, if sponsorship would allow, mm -hmm. or maybe, and again, that's something somebody can offer. Yeah. Somebody with a venue can offer that venue. So just that take the train awesome. out of the school setting. Yeah. Because ideally, thought, we didn't want, we wanted to take them completely away from the school yeah, setting. And then but, there you are in the school setting, yeah. because of course. But yeah, and, and the thing is, the current secondary school has been with us from day one. They've allowed us to use the school. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we've stayed with them. So it will attract most, yeah. yeah. I think when you want to it's to it's another school I'm going to. Yeah. You're thinking three weeks in a school, yeah. not realizing the value of that. Yeah. Um, for me, it's certain things I want to see. I want to say to a parent who finds their child is not equipped enough to get into the workforce, who feels the child is not confident enough, you want to look at that program. Mm -hmm. For a child who thinks, a young person who thinks, listen, I just feel as if I'm not ready for the workforce. I just need something to equip me. I say you want to look at that program. Mm. And for those employers, Gretti, who <laughs> over and over, year after year, keep talking about our children are not ready for the workforce, mm. you need to put your money where your mouth is. And yeah. you need to support these program, programs like this. Because yeah. we do need to reach more. Without a doubt. We do need to reach more. Our numbers have been small. Um, and we do need to grow those numbers so we have a bigger impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Betty. Pleasure Our time is up. The time goes by <laughs> so quickly. Um, so thank you so much for stopping by. Viewers, be sure to follow us on social media as always. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, share your comments. Sh um, share your suggestions for topics that you would like us to address here at the office. And we'll be more than happy to oblige. Until next time, take good care. The Office is brought to you by Renwick & Company Limited, Multi Graphics powered by Expert Group and the Goddard Catering Group.